Hey folks, what's going on? This is BQ and this is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. If you are a first timer here at the channel, please hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. The goal is 4,000 subscribers by the Redemption pay-per-view. I'm not going to BS you. I'm not on pace to do that right now. Maybe things will uh, kick up here in the short term, but uh, the goal is 4,000 by the Redemption pay-per-view. So please help me make that a reality. But we're not talking subscribers. We're talking Impact Wrestling Crossroads next week on Pop. I'm going to be breaking down each match one by one, doing a preview every single day until the show happens. I apologize ahead of time. I disabled the comments for this. reason I did it is that this is not a pay-per-view show, obviously. It's already been recorded. I'm going to give my thoughts and predictions because I don't know who's going to win. Some of you already do. And to avoid any spoilers in the comments, um, we're just disabling the comments for the whole week when we are talking Crossroads. So the first match that I want to discuss is Eddie Edwards and Lashley versus OVE. Kind of a random inclusion to this. Not that there's not a good storyline going on with them, but they already had a match and this was just kind of thrown in there. There's not even a, as of me talking to you right now, there's not even a match graphic for it. It was just something that I, I mean, I had no idea. Impact announced four matches and then uh, later this just kind of, kind of got thrown in there. But fresh off the Eddie Edwards injury, my personal thoughts about it, it was, it was a reckless spot by Sammy Callahan. I mean, I, I don't think anyone could could argue that. It was a reckless spot. Eddie tried to put the chair in the way. Didn't happen. I can only imagine the pain that he went through. At first I could only watch it once. And uh late I mean it's been so, you know, everywhere over the internet. So um I've continued to see it. I'm glad that they're playing into it as a storyline and I'm sure that some of the the haters and the doubters are are giving him crap for that. But it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because if they didn't use it as a storyline, people, oh, they're going soft. I, I like that they're using it as a storyline because the best storylines in wrestling are based off real life things. Do I think they're overdoing it? Yeah. Impact's Twitter and their Facebook and their Instagram, they, they tend to do that. They tend to kind of like mark out for their own um, storyline sometimes and their, and their own moments. That's not the main feud going on in Impact right now. You know, I want to see them hype. There's, there's a bunch of champions. There's four championship matches going on, and they, they keep tweeting about this. So while I think it's making for good television and it's going to make for a good feud, I wish I wish they would pump the brakes a little bit. So I'm a little surprised by the match. They had a match already, and Lashley and Eddie Edwards won. Eddie Edwards, not Eddie Edwards, but Lashley, rather, is no longer with the company. I don't believe this is his last match because I believe I know who his last match is against. So I have to wonder where they're going with this. Um, obviously, they're trying to further the storyline, but to go backwards and to give us a tag team match that we already have seen, I don't really understand that. I have to believe that Eddie Edwards and Lashley are not going to win this time because why would they? You know, they're, they already got their baby face come up and surely they're not going to win another match when they're continuing this feud with Sammy Callahan. And I think it's going to lead all the way to the Redemption pay-per-view. Last time these two teams mixed it up, though, I thought they uh, had a pretty solid match. I think they were there was a couple spots where they were like working Eddie Ed Edwards over in the corner that they kind of did it several times throughout the match. And I was kind of like, OK, I get it. I, you know, I, I, I guess I kind of felt like it was very old school, which is, which is good. It, it's good and bad, but it was, there was a lot of working over Eddie Edwards and then lastly coming in. What I would have liked better with the storytelling here is you remember when Eddie Edwards came down to save him from the, the beat down a, f a few weeks ago. It was just like Lashley didn't look at him funny or anything like that. Like they should have had a, a moment in the ring. Maybe not a moment where Lashley couldn't trust them, but it's something. You know what I mean? They, they could have just played into that a little bit more because these guys had a feud forever. We saw them fight like 50 million times. And then just like that, Eddie comes down to save them and it's over. And Lashley had the quickest babyface turn of all time. I mean, this guy was a dominant heel for so, so long. And then uh, had a very quick babyface turn. And all of a sudden, turn, now all of a sudden he's cool with Eddie. So I just wish they would play into that a little bit more. And I happen to really enjoy OVE right now. Ever since Sammy Callahan came and gave him a shot of adrenaline, like I don't mind watching OVE, even if Sammy is not in the match. 
So I expect a very good match here. I expect OVE to go over. I mean, that's that's the only way to carry on the storyline. I just I don't see a scenario at all where Eddie and Lashley win, especially when Eddie just got hurt. So he's probably going to come out in this match with like a, a black eye or something like that um, because I think it was done the same exact night, if not. I don't know. I have to I have to question how quick Eddie was clear to wrestle. I guess we're going to have to see, but I'm going with OVE winning this thing, furthering the storyline to the redemption pay-per-view. Tune in tomorrow and I will be talking about the next match on Crossroads. Please hit that subscribe button if you're a first timer like I said cuz this is the number 1 channel for the Impact wrestling fan and I am BQ. Talk to you later. Peace.